<laughs> Jake, how you doing today, bud? Great. Excited. Excited to the movie's finally coming out. Yeah, it's it's, it's pretty funny. So, you know, I gotta say, you know, Alex doesn't really have a good game with the ladies uh, in yeah. this movie. Does He's that reflect like you, ladies, or man. do you have a better game when you were in high school? I, I don't know. I can't really speak to that. I don't want to give myself any credit for that, but I think Alex has a hard time talking to the ladies because. He's so dependent on his smartphone for everything. He doesn't know how to express himself. He doesn't even know how to hold a conversation. He basically just knows how to text. So when his phone starts acting haywire and the emojis start, you know, sending themselves to this girl that he really likes, he has no idea what to do. He has no idea how to explain to her what's happening. He just thinks, oh, I've got to go get my phone fixed. And he finds out that there's this world of emojis in Textopolis, which is this whole world that would be a race if his phone was actually fixed. So Alex has to learn how to actually be a real person and not so much depend on technology for everything. Well, let me ask you about the, the filming process because you've done a lot of voiceover work, you know, your Blue Beetle and uh, Teen Titans, done a lot of stuff yeah. with uh, Disney and Nickelodeon. You know, talk about filming this movie in particular. What was different about doing voiceover work for the Emoji movie? Well, different from a lot of the voiceover roles that I'd done before, which were kind of um, characters that had a history or had a, you know, um, existed before I had anything to do with it. This one was completely new. You know, Alex um, is this kid who's growing up in a very modern um, generation where everyone's dependent on technology, kind of like how everyone is, you know, now. So in that sense, it was very relatable for what is reflective of life right now. And also playing a real kid who is unlike myself, who struggled with some insecurities and, and issues, you know, with growing up. So I was really, you know, interested in, in playing a character like that, you know? So you've got a pretty big fan base out there, so I'm, I'm sure they're curious to see, like, what, what kind of apps do you use the most? What's your favorite game app, you know, the app you use every day? The apps that I use every day, one of my favorite apps is Shazam. Whenever I hear a song or whenever I hear something that I kind of think sounds familiar or I recognize, I pull out my phone, I click Shazam, and that usually tells me what I need to know. You spoke about it earlier, this whole idea of being too connected. You know, mm -hmm. the character really just can't speak to girls because he's so shy. Yeah. So do you think that maybe we're kind of gone too far? Are we too into this whole emoji and app life? I don't know if we've gone too far. I don't know, uh, you know, I don't know the limit or the line, but I think we've already crossed it for sure. I don't know um, how much more dependent we can already get on technology. We already use it for everything. Um, especially the character in this movie. He uses it, you know, to communicate with everybody, even his best friend. So I think to a degree, yes, it's gone a little bit too far, but nothing's too far in the world of technology.